Please welcome Late and Live, Kev M and the Sitcom Trials. Good evening and welcome to the Sitcom Trials. Tonight, as we do every Friday night, we're going to be giving you two brand new sitcoms and letting you decide which, if any, should be seen again. Have we found the new Ab Fab, the new Alf Fiederzain, the new Alf Garnet? Only you can decide. You're going to see the first halves of these two brand new sitcoms, then you're going to vote by phone, text or show of hands, and then you're only going to see the ending of the winner, which means we don't waste your time with anything you don't like, and you're never more than seven minutes away from something you might prefer. And the fun doesn't stop there. There's a chance for you to win prizes as we have a look at your ideas for sitcoms in the pitch fest. Have we found the new Happy Days, the new Hancock, the new Harry Worth? Well, let's have a look. The second sitcom we're going to see tonight, and I want to hear a big round of applause just at the sound of its name, is an office-based comedy. It's entitled The Client. <laughs> And our first sitcom on the stage tonight is all about the life of a, a, di a recent divorcee and she's living in Rington in North Somerset. It's not interesting, but it is true. It's written by Jane Simon and it's entitled Go Wild in the Country. <laughs> oh, afternoon, Jim. Is that a you band you got there? You're just pleased to see me. <laughs> oh, well, uh... uh... Can it be both? Right. Um, uh, I've been invited to a school reunion. Oh, are? What's one of them, then? A school reunion? Oh. That is a union. Well, it's a union uh, and a school reunion. Oh, are? What, like uh, meeting your friends down the pub, then? <laughs> oh, come on, Jim. Not everybody you went to school with still lives in the village here, do they? I mean, surely some of them have moved on. It's not his summer's moved on. Well, past on. Same sort of thing, really. <laughs> oh, oh, and the word pig ass Peterson bastard, he moved. Moved to bloody Lower Nettleton, bastard. Lower Nettleton? Bloody turncoat bastard. My best mate, he were just whoosh, off, not even a farewell drink. Jim, Lower Nettleton's two miles away. Ah, oh, you said it. Oh, wish you hadn't reminded me of that. It broke my heart, that did. Right, I've uh, put the kettle on. Oh, are. So, uh, what's this reunion in aid of, then? It's the uh, big anniversary of us leaving. Oh, are, what? Fifth anniversary, is it? <laughs> Flatter, no, I'm afraid it's a little bit longer than that. No, not the tenth. Can't be ten years since you left school. No, I'm afraid it's the twentieth anniversary. No, no way! It is. No way, it can't be! It can! It cannot be twenty years since you left school. Okay, just stop right there. You've now crossed the line between flattering and lunatic. <laughs> but, but if you left school twenty years ago, you'd have to be... Thirty-four. Thirty-eight. Jim. <laughs> Get away. Who stays at school till they're 18? <laughs> <laughs> what were you? Some kind of thicky. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> so the question is, should I go to the school reunion? Mm. Oh, God. They're all going to be successful and married. Oh, well, I could always pretend to be your husband. Don't. <laughs> be ridiculous, Jim. Oh, so, fair enough. Just asking. You're braver than me. Brave, brave. What do you mean, brave? Oh, wasn't you bullied at school? No. Really? No. All right. Just asking. <laughs> well, there was this one girl, Cassandra Anderson. Yeah, well, good job you got me in. That old you of yours got hell of a crack in it. Still, <laughs> as my old dad used to say, better have a crack in your U-bend than a U-bend in your crack. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, good afternoon, Jim. What are you drinking? Oh, if it's Squire Richard, a uh, pint of scrumpy tar. I, uh... Oh, cheers, Squire. Pours them fast, that one on Pete. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I see you've been up at Victoria's, Jim. Ah, oh, oh, you Ben's buggered. Really? <laughs> I blames all oh, brand. Yeah. Um, look, about Victoria, uh, about Victoria, Jim, um, I was thinking I might, um, ask around. What? For a fight? <laughs> no, but, oh. Oh, what's the point? She doesn't even know I exist. Oh, no, I think she does. Really? Yeah. You remember the WI ill-advised 80s clothes amnesty in the curate's paddock? Oh, yeah, how could I forget? Our eyes met across a crowded field. I felt a tingle ran up my spine. My knees turned to jelly. I felt all hot and red. Ah, that's right. And Vic said, who's that idiot leaning against the electric fence? <laughs> Do you 
you think she might remember me? Oh, nothing sticks in the memory but the smell of burning flesh. <laughs> She's not going to make the first move, though, is she? She probably thinks I'm gay. Arr. And, uh, I don't know, if I ever try to ask her out, I know I'll just get all tongue-tied and nervous panic attacks. Oh, I've got a suggestion. As you heard of Chirano. Chirano? Serrano? Serrano de Bergerac? Oh, my God, Jim, that's it. Yes, we'll do what they did in the film. Um, we'll stand underneath her balcony and you put the words into my mouth. You tell me what to say and together we will win her heart. Jim, you're a genius. Oh, my God, the signing in book. She's here. Who's here? No, no, nobody. Nobody. Um, 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 would you mind getting me a drink? I'm, I'm parched. Right, yeah. <laughs> Thanks ever so. <coughs> Sandra Anderson. Oh, Archer Vicks, fancy a volvent. Jim, what on earth are you doing at my school reunion? I'm a waiter. <laughs> Isn't there anybody here I actually went to school with? Are you sure at the right do here, Vix? See, I can't see you there in that school photo. Oh, my God. I'd forgotten about that photograph. And look, there's Cassandra bloody Anderson. Oh, why? What'd she do? Look, she's there in the middle looking smug with her two hench cows, Pandora and Mary. Who oh, are? Well, they does look a bit tall in the rest of the back row. Were they standing on summit? Yes, they were. And, uh, <laughs> my hair's always been slightly flat on one side since then. Oh, God, Jim, it's all flooding back. Oh, no, I think that's a volvent. <laughs> oh, my God, look at that. Oh, that's just a linen closet in there. No, no that's no ordinary linen closet. Cassandra, she'd, 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 she'd stick you in there and she'd rig it so as soon as you shut the door, you'd be smothered in a mountain of starch bedsheets. It was terrifying. Oh, count your blessings. Think how stiff those sheets would be if it were a boys' school. <laughs> This is too good an opportunity to miss. Oh, no. You're not thinking what I think you're thinking, are you thinking? <laughs> if you'll excuse me, Jim, I have some booby trapping to do. Oh, booby trapping. Mm. She's not thinking what I thought she was thinking. Oh, for a second there, I thought it was telepathetic. <laughs> is it me now? Thank you. Old girls, I'm sure you remember me, Cassandra Anderson. That's right, the school bully. I was beastly to you all and I didn't care, but... Well, something happened last week. Some of you may have heard about it. I went skiing in Gestart with two of my oldest friends, Pandora and Mary. And as usual, I egged them on. I insisted that we all ski on the Black Run, and, and then it happened. That, that shelf of overhanging snow, I mean, I tried to warn them, but, well, we, we were swept over the cliff edge, and, and, and when I found them, they were dead, broken on the rocks and covered with blood, and it was all my fault, and... and and that is why I am founding a memorial fund for the victims of bullying. I have also taken holy orders, and next week I begin my new life as a nun. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Done it. Now all I need to do is lure her into the closet. Jim, Jim, have I missed anything? Oh, I don't know. I had to pop out myself. Ran out of volvents, so I always had to improvise. What are these? Jammy Dodgers. <laughs> do you think anyone will notice? No. Right. Now, all I need to do is find Cassandra Anderson and her two lackeys. I'm going to teach her a lesson she'll never forget. Ooh. First sitcom in contention tonight, Go Wild in the Country. Have we found the new My Hero, the new My Family, the new My Wife Next Door? Only you can decide, but you can't decide, you can't vote until you've seen both of the sitcoms that are up tonight. So let's rattle on with the second sitcom in contention.